guys, my name is Stephalus and today I'm taking you over a Veda to show you how to get this boho inspired updo. You guys, I am obsessed with this. Um, I knew it was going to be a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to do an updo with such short hair because I do have a lob, but it's really, really short, like the bottom layer is like right here. So that was a little bit tricky. We figured it out, but you could do this look even if you have longer hair as well. It would be perfect because it gives you a little bit more volume in the bottom. And I think this is just perfect. It's perfect for a party, but it's also perfect for like wedding hair if you're going to a wedding if you're going to be a bridesmaid and you need to do your own hair i feel like it's just timeless and it just looks really soft and feminine so let's go ahead and get into it so i am starting out with curls that i had earlier in the day you could totally use second day third day hair whatever you have is going to be fine don't worry about going in and really doing any precise styling here lived in waves is almost better and i am just applying some shampoo dry shampoo around the crown of my head and doing a little bit of teasing. The dry shampoo is really going to help you get that grit in your hair so that you don't have to do a ton of teasing and it just makes it so much easier. So just kind of give a little tease around the crown and then we're going to go ahead and start sectioning it off. I'm going to start out by just sectioning with my fingers about an inch back from my hairline and this is really up to you how much hair you want to have framing your face. I like to have a lot so just however much you feel comfortable with and I am just gathering that in the back as like a low half up half down ponytail. So section that off and I'm just securing it with a small clear elastic band. Now that I have it secured with an elastic, I'm just going to hold around the base of the ponytail and then I'm going to go through and just pull out little pieces and give the hair a lot more dimension and texture. I feel like this really helps with the boho look and it also just gives a lot more volume. So just going through and pulling out small sections around the crown. Now to start creating the bun, I am going to take that ponytail that we have, split it in half, and then take the one section, split that in half one more time, and just twist that hair around itself. And then I also kind of went in and pulled at it a little bit to give it a little bit more body and texture. And then I'm just going to take that first piece and wrap it around the top of the elastic and secure it with some bobby pins. And then we're going to do the same process with the other half of the ponytail, but we're going to do the twist and then wrap that part the opposite direction around the bottom of the ponytail. Now that we have that secure, it's time to start working on the rest of the hair. And I'm just taking the rest of my hair and gathering it into a low pony, securing that with an elastic again. And what I'm going to do is a topsy-turvy. So I'm not sure if everyone else grew up knowing it as that, but I definitely did. I'm going to make the ponytail, give it a little bit of slack, and then I'm going to create a hole in the middle and pull the ponytail through the top. Now that the hair is secure, I'm just giving it a good tug so that it is really close to our scalp. And I'm just going to split that ponytail in half one more time. And since this layer is so short, I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy. Just twisting that and wrapping it around the sides of the bun we already have and securing that with bobby pins as well. And with this style, especially if you have shorter hair or a lot of layers, you're going to see pieces sticking out. And just keep a mirror handy. It's totally up to you. I like having some pieces out. I feel like it just really aids in the boho look. But if you have too many, just always go back to that mirror and you can totally adjust and add a few more bobby pins.
Now that the back of our hair is done, I'm going to add a little bit of air control hairspray. I absolutely love this. It gives me a perfect flexible hold. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do my bangs, it's just the pieces that I have framing my face. I'm taking a straightener and just kind of touching up the curls and I'm taking really small sections so that each curl is a little bit different so I don't end up with one big curl by the end of the night. And I'm also going to show you guys my little trick. So I have a cowlick and it's really hard for me to wear a center part. So I'm going to show you my little trick that keeps my hair from separating. So I'm going to take my bangs in the very front, the very front pieces and gather those together. And then I'm going to give a nice little tease right at the base. And I feel like this really helps my hair to not separate where I naturally have a cowlick. So maybe if you have a cowlick and you've never been able to do a middle part, give this a try and it might work for you too. And then I'm going to back comb from the bottom of my hair just to give a little bit more volume and texture to the pieces framing my face. And then this look is complete, you guys. I think I did this whole hairstyle in under 10 minutes. It's so quick and easy. So I hope you guys will try it out and I hope you guys like the finished look. final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you love aveda as much as i do then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all of the tips tricks and products thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye